know someone or seen someone be helped by salvation army? Yes. You know yeah. Okay, good. Then you'll understand that this salvation army was created in London in the year, let's see if I have it. Let's see, where is it? Wait, how do I press this? Uh, left click. One more. Mm -hmm. Let's see, this army was created in July the 5th, the day after the 4th of July, yay, in the year 1865. The reason why it was created was because William T. Booth, William Booth and his wife, noticed that the church was ignoring the poor and using and being religiously indifferent to them, which is not a good thing. And so, as a result, he was very infuriated, so he created the Salvation Army to reach out to the poor, to those who were in need, and to those who were broken, both emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually. And here is a quote describing his mission. While there is one dark soul without the light of God, I'll fight. I'll fight to the very end. And even today, they're still doing that. Just like with Hurricane Sandy, which happened last year, on July the 30th, 2012, volunteers from Salvation Army's New Jersey Division went over to parts of New Jersey and helped people by feeding them, giving them hydration, building shelters for them, and overall being an encouragement to them. So here's the verse from Mark 6, verse 8. He has told you, O oh man, what is this? And what does the Lord require of you? But to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with the God. So this is not a thing out of pride. They're not arrogant about it. They're just doing it because they are told to. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Let's see, first, another thing I would mention is that they have rehabilitation centers for people who because these people that do come, they're either drug addicts, alcoholics, or they're, they were abused as young people. So that's one thing. Another thing to mention is the Children of Wellspring. It helps teens or kids whose parents have been through hard times. It helps them get back on their feet. And in a sense, it restores their self-esteem. Let's see. Here are some testimonials from some people. Let's see. The last one right there is from Thomas Johnson, who was a drug addict. He was homeless. He lived on the streets. And generally, he was a lost person. So he says about Salvation Army, Now I know that if you want to live, you have to work for it. The Salvation Army gave me that roadmap to success. And there are volunteers also who said, thank you, that through this organization, they have been able to help people and see lives change and be transformed. You see, here are some pictures of what Salvation Army does in disaster situations. As you can see, there is damage, there is broken homes, and yet the Salvation Army brought life back to so that's basically what Salvation Army does. Even though it needs sacrificing their time, their money, even their goals. So that's it. And that's basically the goals and techniques of Salvation Army. Ariel, what did you think? Um, I think she did a good job with the thesis statement. Um, you know, we thought, or we knew about the Salvation Army and what you were talking about. Um, the organization was also pretty good. The visuals, I would... Make them bigger? No, I wouldn't use, like, instead of um, putting words, 
in like paragraphs. It was kind of like no one could read all of the information. So it kind of distracts from what you're saying if we're trying to read it. So instead I would use like images or something. Um, yeah, but overall you did pretty good. I liked it. Yeah, it took me a pretty good I don't know why you checked the USB um in the yeah down there click on that and then no no it, i'm sorry you're in the right spot that arrow click up it, it, i think it's the one on the upper is it the right one it's already out i think you just pull it out it's fine you're fine <laughs> <laughs> All right, Janet, uh, when you ask a question at the beginning, it's often awkward because the audience isn't sure how to answer. If multiple people answer, then it's uh, uh, distracting and confusing. So I think you want to put it as a rhetorical question rather than one that you really expect a response to. Um, the topic is, I think, very clearly identified. I'm still a little uncertain. I get the general impression that you're introducing us to the Salvation Army. Um, you talk about their goals and techniques, uh, but it doesn't. I'm not sure that I got anything more than what their general goal is and a little bit of history. I, I think you need to talk more about the techniques, how it's organized, uh, what kinds of things and actions do they take it. I'm not sure I know that much more about the Salvation Army than I knew before. I knew that they were a charitable group, that they were largely funded by Christian organizations uh, that were active in trying to assist the poor, and that they intervene in a lot of places. But I don't know anything about where they get their money, uh, how they're organized, um, what kinds of situations do they intervene in in particular. Um, it, you know, if it's an army, it sounds like there is a structure and a, a hierarchy in it, and I would have been interested in hearing something about that. And that's one of those things that just feels like it's underdeveloped in the contents of the speech. There's not really a layout of what the supporting structure is going to be. I think Ariel is exactly right on the visuals. You just have way too much text on the visuals. They're all each of the slides is just a whole bunch of uh, quotes or. Uh, information that's written out and it's, there's nothing very visual about it. It doesn't give us a visceral reaction to what you're talking about. The best one is the last slide that you have where you have the pictures of the Hurricane Sandy experience and then they've got the, the Salvation Army guys there in uh, with their vests on. And that's, I think, a little bit more visual and interesting and that probably could have been earlier in the speech when you were talking about that. By the way, the first part of the speech uh, you did appropriately identify the dates of Hurricane Sandy when you had that, uh, vid that visual up, but I think earlier in the speech you identified it as taking place in July, which would be a strange time for a hurricane uh, on the East Coast, and, and I knew it was October because it was near election time, so there was just a little bit of inconsistency on the information. Probably just a slip when you're looking at your notes. Um, I thought you did okay you know, kind of scrolling through the slides. You, you handled them properly, but what's on them is problematic because it's just, like I said, text. And um, I think you're missing an opportunity to explain things about the uh, Salvation Army that probably uh, need a little bit more explanation. On delivery issues, we're not emphasizing that right now, but I do want to point out a couple of things. You need to be a little bit more assertive. I know you're probably kind of a quiet and reserved person. Uh, but you get up there, you've got your arms crossed, you've got this quiet little voice, and it seems like you're defensive the whole time you're up there speaking. Like, don't look at me, I'm, I'll be away, I'll be done soon. You, you need to be a little bit more forceful as a, as a person speaking to us. You've got an interesting subject, you want to tell the audience about your subject. Here's what I know about it. You don't want to bull, you're not bullying anybody, but you do have to be a little bit more assertive. And maybe a little bit more practice. I, I don't know. Are you a native speaker of English? Yes. Okay, because your pronunciation of addict is the most interesting I've ever heard. You know, and so it just, it, it, and you used it like two or three times in the speech, and it just sounded like, I wonder if that's because you, you know, you spoke a different language first, or if it's just, uh, you're not, like I said, it, I knew what it was, I knew what the word was, but it sounded odd because I've never heard the A emphasized that way in that word. So it's, yeah. 
minor kind of thing, just one of those things I noticed. All right, thank you. 